All right, hey guys, this is in fact Blood Cooker. Hey guys, it's Blood Cooker. I cook your blood, and we have game two of General Tyler versus Scipio on oh, none other than oh Hana. You know that base with the very easy natural and the extremely difficult third because of these freaking destructible rocks. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. And a nice easy fourth kind of. You have to expand your opponent at that point. We have General Tyler spawning as the blue Protoss in the top left-hand corner. Running out, not even opting to fast expand this game either. And we have Scipio, the more or less random player. Um, and yes, the brother is in the tournament. Uh, playing as Zerg this time, actually. Uh, gonna go ahead and what was that? Is that an 8 pool? Oh my gosh, we're seeing an 8 pool from Scipio as this yellow Zerg in the bottom right-hand corner. Sorry guys, I'm just like... I'm derping now, uh, but this a pool could be really, really quick, really, really fast. This could be really, really bad for John Tyler. Obviously. All right. So let's see here. Uh, Scipio took game one against General Tyler. Uh, if Scipio wins this, then General Tyler is out of the tournament, I believe. Uh, and J Lelly, I guess he thought it was gonna be J Lelly. That's fine, that's fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Six Zerglings already on the way, coming out for uh, General Tyler. Um, as well as the Pro coming out as well. And what is this? Oh no, here come the Zerglings, guys. Is he gonna be able to defend against this? The gateway's not even complete yet. Uh, Pro gonna come out. Is he gonna be able to spot this in time to be able to respond? Maybe do a full wall off? Guess we'll find out in a second. Here come the... No, he misses it totally. Here come the Zerglings. Two more Zerglings are on the way, as well as a Queen. Uh, gonna go ahead and try and get that Metabolic boost as well. And if this fails, he's gonna be way behind, but here comes the Cybernetics Core. He's gonna have the Zealot out in time. Uh, uh, the Zerglings running up the ramp. They're gonna get inside. Oh, the Zerglings get inside. But what kind of damage can they do? That's going to be the question. Here comes the worker line, and they're going to try and fight back. No, Zerglings just going to wreck them apart. Oh, no, they're stuck. They're totally stuck. Six, wor six workers, seven workers already killed, and uh, no more Zer Zerglings are going to get inside the base. Uh, unless they just run in right now. Yeah, there we go. One more Zerglings is now inside, and the Zerglings going to be running away, attacking that Nexus. Oh, no, this is really bad for General Tyler. No, what are you doing? Just give me a... <laughs> ah! Two more Zerglings running up the ramp into the main base. He's going to actually engage on that Zealot, which is a terrible idea. Losing almost all his Zerglings. And uh, it looks like General Tyler might hold this, but uh, the economic damage has already been done. He's going to try and target down this pylon. And that Zealot is like, no way, folks. You're not going to take down my pylon today. Uh, and he could take on this Zealot, actually, but... Uh, oh, what is this? Look at this micromanagement. Targeting this other pylon while these two zerglings are uh, partying over here. Look at this. Uh, probes coming off the line, trying to do damage to them. Uh, gonna try and attack that pylon, and they have taken out shields, which is quite impressive. And they've almost taken out shields on them too. Uh, and this is zealot. Oh no, zerglings just being owned by a rally point. Where did the other two zerglings go? That is the question. No, I think these are the only two left inside the main base. Uh, and let's take a look at the economy. Yeah, guys, look at this. Economy is equivalent for both players. And, uh, looks like this is kind of botched from, uh, Scipio. Botched attempt at, uh, an 8 pool. Um, but that's okay. Uh, he did enough damage to pay for it. So, the only problem now is that, uh, General Tyler is up again. In supply, obviously. He's up, he's up in supply. I'm just I'm just losing it guys I'm I'm like dying here uh, General Tyler holding the fort with these two zealots and a stalker this stalker is gonna go and try and get that overlord but not today and here comes the here comes the zerglings are they gonna run up the ramp nope Chuck Testa nope drones being produced for Scipio and I think that's what he needs to do right now just kind of drone up prepare for the macro and uh, when he sees those two stalkers he's gonna Go ahead and pull back here. I'll kind of sit outside the base. Sounds like a good idea. And here we go, guys. Proxy pylon going down. 
I feel like this is very premature as Warp Gate is not even started yet. Uh, but better sooner than never, I guess. Better later than never? I'm not sure. Um, Alright, so plus one attack and metabolic boost is coming out for Scipio. I do like getting that plus one attack upgrade on early lings. It makes them extremely powerful. It moves up their damage to a uh, six. And if you think about it, every five times they attack, that's a whole other attack that they just did. Um, and so they kill stuff like way faster. Uh, it may not seem like, you know, plus one on each Zergling is a lot, but they really ramp up damage at that point. <clears throat> Especially if you have a swarm, then they just kind of kill everything. Uh, Spinecrawler going down for Scipio looks like he's going to turn this into more of a macro game. Same with General Tyler, going to be doing the same. See what I did there? I rhyme. It's just what I do, and I guess it's that time. Zealots and Stalkers being produced, more Zealots coming out, seeing that there's a lot of Zerglings on the field. And uh, he's going to try and take this one Zealot out. Yeah, nice mi Oh, wow, nice micro from Scipio. Pulling away the almost dead Zergling at the last second. That was absolutely fantastic. Scipio, you are my hero. Being able to click on that Zergling just in the nick of time. Uh, the King of Unstandard, doing what King of Unstandard does. Getting a Roach Warren, Evolution Chamber, and Spawning Pool, and a Spine Crawler all in one base. And spread the creep. Getting a second base actually in the most weird spot ever. <laughs> Strange panda beans right there, that's for sure. And oh, they are going to find that pylon just as Warp Gate was about to finish. The question is, are they going to be able to take it out in time? They do have that plus one attack, so they are going to take it out even faster. Look at that damage, guys. Look at how much, uh, how fast that dies. With that plus one upgrade. More Zerglings in the main base for Scipio. That's a lot of Zerglings. Going to go and take out that proxy pylon. But the probe is still running around being all rambunctious and, and whatnot. Uh, he's going to go say hi to the destructible rocks. Oh, he's got a rally point. Guys, he's got a rally point. And his rally point's done! His rally point is finished! Alright. Small army going to be stepping out a little bit for General Tyler. Um, unless he wants to expand, I would highly suggest not actually doing that. Because at any point in time, Scipio can just run up here with tons of lings. And doesn't have enough sentries to force field it off, so... At least effectively. Um, and this whole army could die if he's not careful. Or at least take tons of damage. And here we go, guys. This is exactly what I was talking about. The Zergling's gonna go ahead and run up the ramp. No, no. Scipio, a little too scary, gonna pull back. And General Tyler is now gonna fall back to the more defendable position. Here come the Roaches. Here we go, guys. So this may not be more of a macro game, this is more of a, uh, no one's producing anything, but it's still a macro game-ish macro game that everyone fights in all the time. Zergling trying to make it in the main base, not quite making it. Roach is gonna go ahead and storm the front. Oh, doing that gateway damage. Oh, nice force field. Force fielding that one guy in, and the gateway is fine. It's fine, guys, don't worry about it, you're fine. More sentries being warped in. Uh, now he can basically do almost endless force fields. Uh, and I don't see how this army can even attempt to break that front. Uh, it looks like more roaches and drones are in production for our Zerg hero, Scipio, king of non-standard. King of questionable, questionable strategy. Actually, strategy is really good. He just doesn't do it standard. <laughs> this one attack is out. I said that earlier. And Scipio not even actually producing anything at this point. Let's take a look at the income tab. Both players extremely even on that income. 22 workers and uh, 20 uh, for each <coughs> player uh, respectively actually. 22 for Scipio and 24 General Tyler. Yeah guys let's look at the uh, let's look at the EPM here. Uh, doing all that clicking with the uh, <laughs> with the roach. Bringing up his EPM. I did it at just the right time. When uh, General Tyler's not actually doing very much. And uh, there we go. Alright. That was pretty fun. That was fun, guys! Actually, let's take a look at average EPM. Uh, yeah, so it looks like average Scipio's a little bit higher, but that's not too big of a deal. Natural expansion being taken for Scipio. And Evolution Chamber number 2 is coming out. Uh, no Lair Tech is on the way yet. 
Uh, and we do have, I guess, just kind of a contain going on here. But this army is fairly large. He could just basically walk out and break the contain and then go and kill Scipio right now if he really wanted to. Uh, especially with this immortal. Um, could get a bajillion kills. That zealot being ballsy. Gonna drag some forces in. Wow, nice, nice bum bait there from uh, General Tyler. And that's gonna be enough uh, to make Scipio run away. He's gonna see this big army. See, there's no way he can break that. But Zergling gonna hang out, wait for the expansion to go down. I like that choice from Scipio. Lair tech is almost done. Gonna be coming out shortly, and let's see what kind of tech he does decide to go into it to go with. I was gonna say, uh, I just botched it. I was gonna say he. I think it would be a good idea to go for Mutalisk right now. And what's this, General Tyler? Gonna go on the offensive, warping in some zealots uh, to the natural, which actually has no units at it. Uh, and all the units are streaming back. Gonna try and no, he's just gonna sit there and attack the zerglings, <coughs> taking ton of damage from those plus one links. But now he's gonna no, he's gonna run up to into the main base. More Zerglings spawning. Oh no, this is over for these Zealots. Uh, Zerglings with plus one doing that DMGs. And he's going to wonder where those Zealots came from. No, he doesn't even see this yet. Let's take a look here, actually. Yo, oh, the one place. Look at that. The one place he hasn't scouted. And the pylons there. That is absolutely fantastic placement from uh, General Tyler. Look at all that extra gas for Scipio. Uh, and let's see what he decides to spend it on, too. Lair tech is out, plus one armor is being completed, uh, plus one attack is on the way for General Tyler. So we had a really interesting beginning, and we're kind of mellowing out into more macro-ish. Uh, I was trying to say esque and ish at the same time, and that didn't really work out. Uh, 38 harvesters, or 38 uh, drones for Scipio, searching for that pylon, went ahead and picked up the other one, uh, as opposed to 24... Ah, 24 for Death Waffle. I, oh, see, I'm losing it now, guys. I just called them Death Waffles. General Tyler, 24 for General Tyler. Lots of upgrades are coming out for um, Scipio, and I would like to take the time to notice. See, see this overlay right here. See this overlay. Uh, there is a replay timer behind that, and I even have it down because I don't want to see when this game ends. Um, I have a general idea, but I have never seen this game before, and that's what I do. I try and keep it 100% surprise. Because that is when casting is most fun. So I'm going to go ahead and take this time to uh, plug the Hive Mind Land uh, because they are awesome group of people. Uh, Scipio and I are good friends with uh, Freaks, who happens to be one of the guys in charge of the Hive Mind Land tournament, StarCraft wise. Uh, huge props to him. He just casted all of the Bronze Silver League games. Uh, it took him four hours the other day. And uh, huge props to him for actually doing that. That's. You, you deserve better than 10 views, buddy. You deserve a million views, which is awesome. Um, as well as, thanks for putting all this together. Uh, and if you guys want to support your local hive mind, just watch these videos. Uh, watch, let's see, when when we have the actual tournament. Um, I, I really want to try and make it so that, uh, hold that thought for a second. We're actually having a big engagement. Uh, but those force fields gonna lock this poor zealot outside. No, nope, that Zerg Swarm is gonna take care of him. Uh, I really want to make it more of a just a standalone event where you have the tournament and people come and watch the tournament. I don't know if we have enough people in Bozeman who would like StarCraft to do that, uh, but we will see. We will see. So if you want to support us, uh, you don't even have to donate money. You can just like watch the stuff that we do. Uh, that'd be fantastic. And we'll have more games like this coming out for you, more tournaments, and maybe even a prize pool in tournaments, if you so desire. Alright, the army's going to be pushing out here, going to try and take out this army. Yes, the uh, Zerglings and Roaches have to pull back because this army is freaking huge. And uh, unfortunately, General Tyler, Guardian Shield does not stack, using about five of them right there. Uh, but no, Guardian Shield does not, in fact, stack, and he's floating a bunch of money ready to warp in at any time. Uh, Scipio coming out with uh, more circlings and building spike ah, spine crawlers at the same time. Drones in transit being taken out. Zerglings in transit being taken out. And how many times, Zerg players, has this happened to you? Where the army is just, you, you think you're winning and then you realize, oh, I don't have an army. Uh, yeah, that's happening to Scipio at the moment. 
So he's going to try and bait the army back. Oh no, General Tyler, you need to actually push in and kill the Zerg. You can't just let him sit back. Going to try and take out the Overseer, and he's going to go ahead and do that successfully. Well played by General Tyler. But at the same rate, he's, he's, kinda, he's being baited back by this army, whose main goal is to just hold them off. Looks like the engagement's going to go down, not in favor of the Zerg. Actually, in heavy favor of the Zerg, because uh, it's in the middle of the map and not right outside his base. Hydralisks are, on the, are, are actually out right now. Going to do extra D DMGs against that army and attacking at a bad angle, yes, but he still has superior forces and superior army, uh, but not superior food. Mostly because of the income tab there, uh, the workers. Almost half the supply down in workers. Uh, and now we're going to see the Zerg Swarm flooding in, getting bigger and bigger. Uh, he has triggered... He has triggered the trigger. That doesn't even make sense. He is... Alright, guys, listen. He's, he's made the Zerg become more powerful. Alright, he's, he's made him become... He's like, oh, well, I need units. So he's building units. And holy plus two attack Hydralisks, Batman. Plus two attack Zerglings as well. And they all have plus one armor. Slash carapace, if you really want to be specific. And uh, actually, let's look at the units. He's stocking up 30 larva... Uh, for something, it's got Mutilus on the way. This could be really bad for General Tyler. Observer's gonna go ahead and get an eyeful of this army. He's gonna be like, oh, crap. There's an army there. Uh, more workers coming out for, uh, Scipio and General Tyler, but more so for General, uh, for Scipio. Um, he's almost double in supply there uh, of workers. Actually, he's getting up there soon. But here comes the big move out from uh, Scipio uh, and the big immortal army at the front guarding the ramp. And here we go, guys. Here comes the pain, bringing on the hurt. Big Zerg army moving across the map, going to go and target down the destructible rocks where the army isn't. Is he actually going to notice this or not? He's going to pull back the Zerglings that aren't doing anything. And look at how much damage those Zerglings are doing. Oh my gosh. But no, it looks like they are going to pull back. Here come the Zerglings into the main. Are the sentries going to do anything? No, they're not. Zerg's army is going to go ahead and pull back here. Floating tons of money. Um, I'd really like to see some Mutalisk out on the field. We do, in fact, see some Mutalisk somewhere. There they are. Found the Mutalisk, guys. Found them. Found them. And oh my gosh, 17 Mutalisks are on the way. This could be really bad for General Tyler. He did, he's not pushing out. He's not doing anything. He's just kind of sitting in his base, letting the Zerg macro up. And here we go. Zerg's army outside the Protoss base, preparing to move in, preparing to swarm everything. But no, when behind Dark Shrines. Oh, man, I hope he doesn't have detection. I really, really hope he doesn't have detection. Good for you. He does not, in fact, have protection. And here come the DTs. Working away at those units. No detection in sight for Scipio. Uh, but here comes the, the deadly overseer. Deadly overseer. Running up. Going to spot those. Oh, no. He's going to spot the uh, Dark Templar. And the Dark Templar's days are now numbered. Getting taken out. And what's this? Mutalisks in the main base doing tons of damage. How many workers have been killed? 18 workers. And I think this game may be over. Unless this death army can do something huge in the next, I guess, minute or two. Main, main army's running up. Gonna attack this Archon, doing tons of damage. You know, need to come in the back to do all that other damage. But no, it looks like he's gonna go ahead and pull back at the same rate. Okay, now it's time for some crazy shenanigans here. Uh, Mutal is coming in the back, as well as uh, army in the front being being, I guess, dying. And, uh, Mutalists are doing tons of damage. I guess that's kind of all there is to say about that. Oh, no! And General Tyler rage quits the game. Understandably, obviously, because Mutalists are just so annoying. But that's it, guys! Scipio takes two games off of General Tyler, therefore putting Scipio up, and unfortunately, General Tyler, better luck next time. 
Uh, good luck in the rest of the tournament for both of you. I gotta go, but I will see you guys next week for another exciting round of games. Hasta la vista!